What is up, everybody? It's your boy Doublecast, aka Young Structured Settlement, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Shield. In the last episode, I made my way up to Balanlea, took on the gym here, and uh, got the badge. And uh, before we begin this episode, I just did a couple of things off screen that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, to sort of optimize my team further. Uh, I've given every member of the team an item now. Uh, Rip Skarmory has the leftovers since it won't go down easy, so the gradual healing will uh, help it stay in the fight. Uh, Thought Patrol now has the muscle band since all of its attacks are physical. Jaraxxus has the Eviolite because it's the last unevolved member of the team, and I think it doesn't evolve until like the mid or late 40s, so it still has a way to go there. Tea Lizard still has the Mystic Water. Dummy Thick has the Magnet to boost its electrical attacks, and Roadhog now has the Soft Sand to boost the power of Earthquake. Um, I also used some of my TMs. So, uh, Rip Skarmory now has access to U-Turn, which was a TM I picked up in the last episode, and Body Press, which is a actually very good fighting type move I picked up a while ago. That one's a TR, not a TM. Body Press is an attack that uses your defense stat to calculate its damage instead of your attack, which, if... I am correct. Yeah, my defense, you'll notice, is almost 20 points higher than my attack on Rip Skarmory. So uh, that attack should be very, very useful for it. Um, I also, let's see, I think the only other moveset change was on Dummy Thick. I gave it, yeah, I gave it Thunder Wave instead of Thunder Shock. Um, that one's just kind of a no brainer. Thunder Wave is just always good to have. Um, and then the last thing I did was uh, Thought Patrol. Um, it was lagging a couple levels behind the rest of the team in terms of levels, so I just used uh, one of the large XP candies I got from all of those max raid battles in the last episode to get it up to speed, and then I also used a PP up to get close combat from 5 to 6 PP. Ideally, I would have that as 10 at 10 PP, excuse me, but uh, PP ups are hard to come by. So hopefully we'll find some more of those shortly. Now, hypothetically... We are heading to Churchester next, but as expected, there is a cutscene I have to get through first. Hold on now. It's just Opal. What's up? Uh, got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me for the journey? If you're headed to the next gym station, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, or gym stadium. Yeah, of course. Let's go. Um, I have no issue with traveling alongside Opal. She's one of uh, she's one of the better characters we've met so far. We love Opal. Oh, look, she just uh, fast travels us. How convenient. Some Pokemon prefer it that way. <laughs> Damn, savage. I mean, I suppose this is the, uh, the dragon type gym leader's town and she's the fairy type leader, so the animosity is to be expected. Uh, I think some, oh God, what was the, that line about like why dragon is weak to fairy? It was something, someone had a joke where they're like, uh, yeah man, my, uh, like, why Why the hell is uh, Dragon Week to Fairy? There's like, I think my gay cousin punched an iguana once. Oh, hey, it's Bead. Sup, dude? You still salty after that last battle? Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away and my gym challenge status revoked? Can you really afford to waste time like this? Of course! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got I got all the time in the world, you know. This is a JRPG. No ticking clocks to be found. Um, I'm sure now that I've said that, someone's going to dig up an example of a JRPG with a ticking clock. I want to say FF13 Lightning Returns had a ticking clock. So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Opal's just like... Young man, <laughs> what? <laughs> ah! <laughs> pink, pink, <laughs> and pink. I would say that's more of a a fuchsia. Maybe, maybe like a, a very. I don't know. Congratulations, child. <laughs> maybe no. It's more of a magenta. I would. I'm not sure if I'd really call that pink. What in the hell has gotten into you? You were used by o Olena, Oleana. I always forget how to. Uh, gather wishing stars only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was all done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you, are you testing me? 
I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the Wishing Stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to Churchester. Uh, take it you know how to get to Route 7? Uh, yeah, I actually was trying to get over there earlier, but there was an arbitrary roadblock. If you tried to go east from Hammerlock earlier, there was a Team Yell member uh, blocking the way. So that's where we need to go next. Um, <laughs> man, that was... I... <laughs> That was, that was a legitimately funny segment there. Good, good job, Game Freak. Hey, uh, badge collecting going well? Been doing some research on the ruins in Stoan side, the sword and shield. What kind of Pokemon were they, and where are they now? Still have so many questions. Oh, great. We got problems now, don't we? Uh, what's exploding? Hammerlock Stadium shook. Are, are, are you, in fact... Shooketh. Um, oh, wait. It's a power plant. A power spot? You mean like where you can Dynamax? That's right. Um, hey, Sonya and Eldna, too. You felt the strange taking, right? See, Chairman Rose is testing something. Hmm. <laughs> Start Dynamaxing in the middle of Hammerlock. Kaiju battle! Let's just get lost, Leon. I'm going to. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. You should leave the investigation the quaking to the adults. Head to Churchester and get that gym badge. Uh, okay? Oh, Eldena. Alright, well, I, I guess something serious is happening, but we aren't privy to it. Kind of weird. Uh, I've been lost in every sense of the word, but it looks like I've finally caught up to you again. Uh, come with me to Route 7? I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Of course, man. We gotta, gotta stay on that rivalry grind. Right behind each other. Lockstep. Um, I think there might be something interesting in this Pokemon Center, because if I recall correctly, uh, one, of the t one of the Pokemon Centers, there's three Pokemon st Centers in um, Hammerlock, and two of them have TMs. Oh wait, this is the Western Counter. Well, we can buy Ultra Balls now, that's cool. Not going to be catching a ton of Pokemon, so that's not super relevant. Here's the TM shop. Let's see what we got. Mega Punch, Mega Kick, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, and Fire Fang. These are all really nice. Uh, Grassy Train, Misty Train, Electric Train. I don't think I want any of these right now. Thunder Fang might have been good on um, Dummy Thick, but I already got a TR for him that's better. Ice Fang and Fire Fang. Uh, I feel like I could get some use out of these, but just not right now. Um... I, all right, I'll, you know what? I'm just gonna move right along. I don't have anything else pressing I need to do. Let's just go straight to Route 7. Because I think we've got a bit of a longer road ahead of us uh, before we can get to Churchester. This isn't gonna be like Bal and Leia. Um, so this episode is probably mostly just gonna be me in transit. Uh, all right, Eldna, you and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up if I want to surpass him. That's the spirit hop. Uh, yeah, I mean, might as well. I'm at least prepared this time, so hopefully I won't get my ass handed to me like I did last time. Oh, lovely. He's leading off with a Trevenant. This matches up quite well because... Uh, time for me to test. All right. Latest and greatest team. Okay, gotta exert my pressure first. Gotta, gotta flex. Gotta let him know who's boss. Eh, beautiful. Real easy. Reminds him of Lee. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. I read a few comments saying that apparently Leon is, like, supposed to be one of the harder champions. Um, yes, Cinderace, we will definitely want to switch over to T-Lizard. Um, saying that I, uh, say, saying that Leon is apparently one of the harder champions in the Pokemon series. So I'm very much looking forward to that battle. Like, I, I like hard champions. Um, I mean, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum are some of my favorite games in the series. Platinum specifically, I'm not going to, you know, I'm willing to take off my nostalgia goggles and admit that, you know, Diamond and Pearl have all kinds of issues bogging them down. Um, though I, I would argue most of those are corrected in Platinum. Um, but Cynthia is like one of the hardest champions in the whole series, and 
but uh, she she beat me so many times as a kid, and not all of that was just because I was, you know, a stupid 12-year-old who didn't know how to put a good team together, you know. She's a, she was a real challenge. She's also just really hot, which definitely does not, uh, definitely contributes to my love of her. All right, so far so good, no issues. Roadhog gains another level. Wonderful, wonderful, heat more. Um, shit, what's heat more again? Definitely fire type, right? I can just use, am I stupid? Am I forgetting what this thing is? I feel like such a bad Pokemon fan. Oh yeah, it is this thing. Yeah, this is just a, this is just a, um, I forget what this thing's typing is, but I know it's part fire at the very least. Doesn't matter now. I'll look it up later. I know it was part of a duo that was introduced where it was Durant is the other one, which was like a, um, let's see here, Snorlax. Uh, yes, we will want to switch over to Thought Patrol. Um... Uh, it was part of a duo that was introduced with Durant, where Durant is um, Steel Bug, and then that thing... It was like a, a Steel Bug Ant, and then that thing's a Fire-type Anteater. So it's like kind of clever that way. Similar to like, um... Uh, okay... We're going to close combat this thing, and hope it works. Be gone! What? <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, man. I... So, oh wait, you're telling me I went through all this trouble of getting a really, really good electric type specifically so I could take on Hop's Cramorant and then he just ditches it after one battle? Son of a bitch. This game does not respect me. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, good battle, Hop. Thanks for the heal. I'm just glad I'm not getting embarrassed anymore. Um, beats the unbeatable champion, and I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Churchester. Cool, I will uh, remember to uh, prep for that as soon as I get my badge, because I'm sure you will be waiting for me right outside. Uh, let's get this hidden item over here. If I can navigate the terrain. What do you got? Come, come on, fight me. Fight me! The, uh... Oh, uh, this is what happens when you are raised entirely on 2D sprite-based games, is you just have no idea how to navigate shit. Um, she's using a Rebombi. I, I like Rebombi. It's like, uh, I... In terms of, like, my taste in Pokemon, I tend to favor, like, glass cannon types that have, like, super high speed and super high attack. And, uh, Rebombi has, like, really, really good speed, and I think really high special attack. That was one of those things I really wanted to use on my team in, um, Sun and Moon, actually. But I think I ended up going with Shinotic because of just, like, coverage, um, issues. Um, Vespa Quen, we'll stay in. Guess she's, uh, going for a bug theme. I respect that. Bug types are underrated, honestly. There, there are some pretty solid bug types out there, but uh, the early, the earlier generations just did not respect them whatsoever. Uh, do, do, do. Defense went up, special defense. Like at least in, oh god, in red and blue it was like other than Scyther and Pinsir, right? Like it basically. If you didn't have, um, if you, like, all the bug types were basically just, like, the starter area Pokemon, where it was, like, they evolve fast, but they're not worth using in the long term. Uh, great trainer you are. That wasn't too bad. Um, I feel like I could probably put a different Pokemon out front. Let's, uh, let's give, um, uh, let's put Thought Patrol up front. Give him some time to shine. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, man. Is that a Perserker? I think that's the Meowth evolution. Yes. Nothing to see in that fight. Um, pick up another Bomb Mushroom. More cell items. Ah. Man, wild Pokemon on this route noticeably more aggressive than they are uh, elsewhere. Um, 
Armani, she's Armani. Okay, so Team Yell is just gonna be narrowing the path for us a bit, so I guess we'll just have to walk in a straight line for the time being. Gonna take on a taxi driver. Or, excuse me, a cabbie. Very important that we make that distinction. Um, well, unfortunately, Thought Patrol's at a disadvantage here, but this means that I now get to swap over to Dummy Thick for the first time, so we can finally see our new teammate in action. Get in there! Oh, look at that thing, it's so stupid. All right, this thing's just boosting its attack. No problems there. All right, now let us see if we can actually get Wild Charge to hit. Yeah, beautiful. And Wild Charge, unfortunately, does do recoil damage, so I will have to heal this thing from time to time if I use it too often. Uh, Rufflet, I can stay in against that. That's just another bird. Oh yeah. I feel almost bad using Wild Charge against this tiny little eagle chick. But you know what? That's just uh, that's just how this game goes sometimes. Sometimes you just need to nuke a caterpillar. And because, not because it's the right thing to do, but because it's the most efficient option based off what the game presents you. It's not the right thing to do, but it is the correct thing to do. Um, you know what, I'll, I'll pick up some berries while I'm here. Um, uh, might as well. It's not like the, uh, tree Pokemon are a threat to me right now. Still some time between the shakes. Uh, I can do one more of these. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna push my luck. Three Figgy Berries, one Lychee Berry, two Asper Berries, two Mago Berries. Cool, cool, cool. Mother, man, these clowns just will not let me live. Lipards are so very aggressive. All right, we're on Route 8. Um, oh, it's a little, little ancient ruins area. I love ancient ruins. Um, let's see, we've got some Pawniards here. We could pick those up in the uh, wild area earlier if you were so inclined. See what this dude has got. Or, excuse me, what this lady's got. I personally, I know not everyone feels this way, I personally like using uh, dude as a gender neutral term. But, uh, eh. I, I respect the people who don't treat it that way. Um, this is convenient because Roselli is half poison, which gives us a good opportunity for a Zen headbutt. Yeah! Nice. Get out of here. Okay, Dummy Thick gets another level. Um, Stomp, compared to what we have right now, not particularly useful. Uh, Hatrim? Hatrim, I think that's still the second stage, so Jaraxxus goes in against that. Uh, I initially considered um, putting in like a little sound effect gag for Jaraxxus every time I throw him out, but I realized that would get very old very quickly. So I'm, I'm gonna save that one for a special occasion. All right, that was easy enough. Some more money. God, I have more money than I will ever need at any point in time. Um, all right, I've gotta be kinda careful because I don't wanna spend all day fighting random encounters. A shiny stone, I think this is the first time you can get one of these without doing um, the digging duo. That lets you evolve, um, among other things, Roselia into Roserade, so if uh, you caught your very own Sasha Valor, but did not abandon her like I did, well, there's your chance to evolve her. Um, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything over here. Since this route seems to have a bit more going on than the last one. Smart Strike. This is a steel type move, but I forget what it does. Um, oh yeah, it's just a 100% accurate steel move. That's one of those steel moves that, um, I specifically remember this move where I'm like, this seems really good, but like nothing can learn it. 
Um, yeah, there you go. Nothing can learn it. I forget. There, there, there's like, I don't know what it is with Smart Strike. It has like a comically small uh, learn set in terms of like which Pokemon actually get it. I was actually, when I was doing some research for, um, uh, sorry, just making sure I didn't miss anything over here before I move forward. Um, when I was doing research for um, Gallade to make sure I was getting everything with him correct, I noticed Leaf Blade is like that too, where it has its own TR, but there's like, God, probably less than 20 Pokemon that can actually use the um, Leaf Blade TR. Uh, glowing Pokemon dens in the wild area. If you climb all the way up here, you're likely the sort to investigate. Oh, ah. This, reading that sign is uh, exactly, that's what it must feel like to watch the ship videos. Just having your exact personality type exposed cannot believe they put that sign there just to make fun of me. Unbelievable. The gall of these people. Pegging their JRPG players as JRPG players. Um, okay, so I already checked over there, so I can just make my way down here without issue. I say without issue as I run into a wild Pokemon. Three Hyper Potions, that's generous. I need to, uh, this reminds me, I need to, when I get to Churchester, I have to restock on healing items because I'm actually, I ran out of lemonades and now I'm a little low. Um, because I've also used up, I think, almost all my super potions now. Gotta go through here very carefully because I'm not trying to get into a bunch of, mmm, gotta get that. Come on. Elixir, excellent. Definitely worthwhile. Um, elixirs, well... I say it's worthwhile, but elixirs are one of those items where, um, elixirs and, like, full restores. Uh, should probably mention I picked up some luxury balls there. Um, they increase the happiness of any Pokemon you catch in one. The Pixie Plate, which boosts Fairy-type moves. Excellent. That's good to have for later. Um, uh, I don't feel like fighting you. Max Revive, sick. Um, yeah, elixirs are one of those items where it's like, they're, they're like so powerful, you almost feel like you can never, you're never justified in using them. Um, oh wait, that is probably, okay, I need to figure out, I need to figure out which way is the dead end. I'll just fight this person first. Don't know if they'll have anything interesting. Uh, backpacker Barbara. What do you got, a Dreepy? Oh, this is the new um, dragon type. Uh, do, 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 unfortunately, actually, wait. Uh, I do not have to worry about not having fairy type moves right now because I have an ice type. I get so caught up in fairy types being so good against dragons that I forget that um, ice types are the OG dragon killer. So let's just uh, let's break out the ice fang. Don't actually get to use Roadhog as an ice type that much. Ice is um, a tricky type to incorporate on your team because it's one of the best offensive typings, but one of the worst defensive typings. I think it resists nothing, if I recall correctly. So because of that, like having a pure ice type is a huge, like it's not advised, like you, you don't want a pure ice type on your team because it's just gonna be super vulnerable. Excuse me. So this is why I like Mamoswine so much. Ground is a perfectly respectable type. It's not the best defensively, but it has like so much offensive coverage that it like almost makes up for it. And Mamoswine just has like a lot of bulk in general. Um, All right, what do you got? Uh, live concert, you'll be attending. Oh no, a street performer. Thought Patrol gained a level in that battle, otherwise not noteworthy. Um, let's keep on go- Crap, what is this thing? Phalanx. Okay, this Pokemon, this is one of the new designs I think is like the most interesting. So, you know what, just for the sake of variety and just showing some of the stuff in the game that I think is cool, I'm gonna show this one on screen. 
and then one-shot it with Zen Headbutt. Sure. At least we're getting levels off it. I'm surprised at the wild Pokemon in this area being as high-leveled as they are, because they're actually, some of them have been higher-leveled than me. Uh, King's Rock, that can be, oh man, King's Rock is useful in, uh, a few very annoying strategies involving, uh, excessively flinching people. Uh, alright, looks like we have to fight this thing to get to whatever is at the end of this cave? Not cave, hallway. Um, this thing's half... Bug, I want to say, and Bug does actually resist fighting, so I guess T-Lizard is the way to go. I'm not sure if I can... I mean, I guess I could have just run from it, but I don't know. I think it's like, this thing isn't going to be hard to beat, I don't think, so it's like I might as well take it down if I can. If I get KO'd by this Rock Blast, I will be incredibly upset. If I lose to this thing, I will be incredibly upset. Please one-shot it for the love of all that is good and holy. Okay. I feel less dumb now. Still capable of making good decisions, despite all evidence to the contrary. No, we do not want Swagger on Rip Skarmory. Uh, we do not want Nasty Plot on Lord Jaraxxus. Nasty Plot is a very, very good move, but only on special attackers. Um... Uh, TM43 Brick Break, uh, one of my favorite fighting type moves in the game. Um, not only does it just have like solid damage and 100% accuracy, but uh, it has the fringe benefit of breaking light screen and reflect, which occasionally comes in handy. Um, do I have the people out front who I want for this? Uh, let's put uh, Jaraxxus out front. All right, let's take on these two. Might as well do a double battle while I'm here. Can never have too many trainer fights. Um, but yeah, I, like, basically, had I put, had... I can't speak words right now. Oh, uh, hip out on an Excadrill. Hmm, well, Jaraxxus is not going to be of any use here. So, I think what I want is... Close combat will definitely one-shot Excadrill, and that thing's probably the bigger threat. Um, Jaraxxus, unfortunately, is not of much use here. Uh, Roadhog might actually be helpful because it doesn't take damage from the Sandstorm, and Hippowdon is weak to ice. Plus, it has some bulk, so it can probably take a hit if... Um, it ends up getting targeted by one of these two. No! I got owned. Damn it. All right, please do not kill me. Oh, thank God. All right. That could have been a lot worse. Um, now, this kind of makes... Oh, see, now I'm kind of sad that... Um, well... Eh, it doesn't matter. All right, I'll Leaf Blade Hippowd on, and then, yeah, we'll just, uh, oh, not what I meant to do. We will, well, okay, this is a question, because I don't think I can actually, because Excadrill, oh, okay. I was going to say, I'm not sure if it'll let me target Excadrill since it's underground, but mm, if it doesn't kill me, all right. We're taking a risk here. Thought Patrol may go down. We'll, we shouldn't have any problem finishing this battle, but if Hippowdon targets Thought Patrol instead of Roadhog, it is 100% uh, getting KO'd, which is very unfortunate. Crunch? Yes! Thank God for the game's AI not being good. Um, Oh, shit, he has another Pokemon. <laughs> um, well, in that case, what I'm going to do is swap over to Rift Skarmory, and then use... Nope. Not doing this correctly. Going to use Earthquake, and hopefully Lucario won't just destroy Mamoswine before I get to do my cool thing. All right. 
Lucario. Yes! I'm faster than it! Yeah, see? So Earthquake hits everything on the field except the flying types. So we get to kill two birds. Well, we get to kill zero birds with one stone. But we get to kill everything else. Uh, phrasing is hard. Idioms. That's the word I'm looking for. Idioms are hard. Um, this thing is steel type, so it will be weak to body press, and it should also be vulnerable to earthquake as well. Yeah. Name a more iconic duo than uh, flying types and ground types in double battles together. Um, just hit this with another body press, hit you with another earthquake, and yep, that'll do it. That was actually a bit bit more of a challenging battle compared to everything else we had. I'm wondering if the game is just like generally ramping up the difficulty curve here. I was feeling kind of bad earlier because I was like, you know, I went through all this trouble of these max raid battles to collect all these candies. You know, I was like getting swole and everything. Like, am I over leveling? Cause I don't want to make the rest of the game like easier than it should be. Uh... That is kind of cool, not useful for me. Like, I don't want to make the game, like, artificially easier than it should be just by level grinding. Um, I'll just swap you out front. Come on. Because um, I just, like, I'm, this is why I generally don't level grind much. Because it feels like just kind of a cheap way to make the game easier than it's supposed to be. Um, oh, well, looks like we've got a bit more of Route 8 to go through. Yeah, I'm probably going to, first of all, get you two healed up. I'm pretty sure they sell Hyper Potions at the Pokemart now, so I can just buy more of these. Um, not a concern. Are those Snovers? Uh, I don't want to deal with a Sneasel right now. Save me by letting me kill you. Okay, I should have said beat, not kill, but whatever. Y'all know what I meant. Oh, so Churchester, Churchester, I'm going to screw that up so many times. Churchester's a bit of a larger city. That's fun. I like exploring the bigger cities in this game. They look really nice. Uh, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Okay, and since I had um, a bunch of money available because, um, all that time spent dicking around in the wild area yielded a lot of uh, cell items. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, TM48, Rock Tomb. That would have been really good to have like way earlier in the game. Uh, Max Raid Battle, what do you got? Um, I'm trying to think, would it be worthwhile to put an, a rock move on Roadhog? Yeah, I'll, I might do that later. Um, because I had a whole bunch of uh, money sitting around, I uh, went ahead and bought a comically large number of Hyper Potions, um, because I figure those will last me through most of the game. I don't know if we're going to get to such high levels that I'm going to have to use uh, Max Potions or Full Restores instead. Not even gonna worry about that right now. Um, let's see what's up with this restaurant. This is a funny looking guy on the outside. Uh, do, 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 do. Anything interesting to say? And I think this is a battle-based restaurant. Unsurprising. Uh, all right, how do we? Who do I talk to? Bought it at an antique market. Talking about work. Uh, uh, wait, is there actually? Okay, I guess not. Someone in the comments is probably going to tell me about something important I missed there, but. If that's the case, say la vie, say la guerre. Um, am I the only, okay, lots of people say say la vie. I think my parents would always follow it up with say la guerre. I don't know if anyone else says that. Um, do, 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 do. Get a TM here. TM 51 Icicle Spear. Um, Icicle Spear is a pretty good move. Um, it's like, um, is it Fury Attack? I forget if it has, um, it might have better power than Fury Attack. Um, you got so lucky. Um, 
let's see, do you have anything interesting to say? Ice Skull Spear, yeah, it, it can be pretty good. There are some Pokemon that have an ability called Skill Link, where basically any move that hits one to five times uh, will always hit five times. Or, excuse me, two to five times. Draco Meteor. I don't think I want Draco Meteor because um, it's a special attack. And so I would prefer for um, Dummy Thick... Even if it can learn Draco Meteor, I would prefer it to have, say, Dragon Claw. Um, uh, rather than Draco Meteor. Because its special attack stat, I don't think, is very good. Um, ooh, we got a new clothing store here. Ice-type moves, maybe they don't like the cold. Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. I could, I could buy that. Seems reasonable. Uh, snowball fights... Interesting thing I learned uh, a little while ago is that uh, apparently in Japanese, the word for dragon and the word for dinosaur is the same thing, um, which is why, um, like, in some games, like in, uh, there are some, like, Final Fantasy games where there are, like, dinosaur-based enemies that are referred to as dragons. I think there's one in, like, there's one specifically in Final Fantasy VI that's called, like, the Earth Dragon, but it's very obviously a dinosaur. So, that's what's up with that. Uh, what is in this building? Is this a hotel? Uh, do, do, do. Hotel Ionia. All right, now is there anything worthwhile to see in here? Um, looks like mostly just some boring NPCs. Yeah, so lots of old buildings here, can I? Go to other floors? Appears I can. Um, what have you got? Hallways of hotels, I've always got, feel like I've got lost somewhere. Yeah, some of them can definitely, there are some hotels that uh, definitely have that vibe. Uh, topping the different curries. Curry's a big hit in Kanto too. Really? I've been to Kanto. Wouldn't have known. Uh, yeah, of course. Sure. Why not? Do you need something from me? Right. Why don't you run along for now? Come back when you're as strong as the champ. Ah, now I have two randos I need to talk to when I'm the champion. Gotta keep a running list, because there's probably another one I missed earlier. I'm trying to be pretty thorough in going through everything in this. Wait. Oh, is this... Oh, this is, um... This is Game Freak, isn't it? Uh, I suppose that means playing the job itself. Missed again, it's harder. Hmm, you, you look like you know the proper way to throw a Pokeball. Uh, I'm the director. Well, look at you, you're trying to complete the Pokedex. Uh, oh, we actually get something? A catching charm. Holding it is said to increase the chance of getting a critical catch. All right, yeah, this is this is something that's in every Pokemon game. There's an area where the, um, the game developers inserted themselves. Um... Thus why that person was, thus why they're visiting from the Kanto region, because Kanto is, um, well, no, they wouldn't, wait, that wouldn't make any sense, because unless, well, unless the Game Freak offices are in and around Tokyo, the Nintendo offices are in Kyoto, the Game Freak offices might be in Tokyo. Uh, taking a shower forever, even though it's ground time. <laughs> All right, sure. Um... All right, well, that's a fun little side area. Um, yeah, the first four regions are all based off of different parts of Japan, and then after that, they started um, basing the regions off of other countries. Um, do, 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 do. Are you going to sell Castalia cones? No, because we're not in Castalia City. If only... Uh, vanillish for... Uh, no, I don't want a sock. Absolutely not. I don't even have a vanillish. Um, oh, only, only, um, Pokemon are allowed in the hot spring, huh? Another hotel? Uh, oh. It's just one hotel across two buildings. Not what... I want to talk to the dude. My Noibat's using its ultrasonic waves. All right, sure. Um... I feel like I'm, I'm sure there are other things to get here. 
Just want to make sure I'm being thorough. I've definitely missed, like, very important um, items and upgrades and stuff in games like this by not checking every room. So this is habitual. Um, take this TM. Yeah, oh, perfect example. Well, okay, not a great example because this is the TM for Screech, but, like, just pretend that move was useful, and then I'd be very justified in doing all of this. Um, let's see, what have you got? Uh, TM that takes advantage- oh, even more TMs! TM47 Fake Tears. Um, harshly lowering special defense. I don't need fake tears. This is a lot of Pikachus. What's up with you? Become the champion using an all Pikachu team! I admire your spunk, kid. It's a good attitude to have. Sounds- that would make a very fun YouTube video. Um, beating the champion with all Pikachus. Uh, being blunt with someone isn't always the right thing to do. Very true. Sometimes... You don't necessarily want to lie to people. You just want to be diplomatic about how you tell them the truth. Uh, all the trouble of deducing things. Don't go messing it up now. Uh, are we solving a murder mystery? Accused of being criminals. Will you help us out? Um, okay. Uh, all right. What, what are you doing, man? I suppose I should introduce myself. Houses. Yes, that houses. The great detective. Hired by the hotel. Present I cornered the culprit at a most heinous crime. The crime is. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Gather the three people who were present in the lobby. Because of the noise, my marvelous deductive reasoning skills uh, seems somewhat muddled at present. That's it, you interfering child will be my Oh, okay. I'm gonna get this wrong, aren't I? Berries? I didn't eat them. Hey, have you at least seen my Pokemon around here, have you? No. Uh, detective seems like trouble, doesn't he? I will admit, I saw the mountain of berries, but my doctor told me to stop eating those things. Got it in writing here, alright? How about you? Uh, it was a huge pile of berries in the lobby, right? There's no way I could have eaten that many. I've been saying that this whole time. Oh. Okay. They solved it for us. That's nice of them. Uh, Sierra's a lot of berry juice on its mouth. Uh, deducing everyone's account. I have deduced the culprit. D yeah, yeah. This game. Move and shake your body so much that you needed all that food for extra energy. That's sharp as the leech of a farfetch. So very dull. You're no detective. You're a fraud. Uh... I'll leave it to you to find the culprit. It's, it's the, could it be, yes. Squavit is the one responsible? Munch. Uh, I better get something for doing this. I feel like I'm losing brain cells right now. Uh, recompense from some, oh, wait. I think, if that's what I think it is, this was actually very much worth it. <laughs> I'm suddenly extremely glad I did this. Um, I'm supposed to chase after him, too. <laughs> uh, I hope you're happy. Is this what I think it is? I'm not. I have to remember everything as I go. Uh, other items. Come on. Yes! Okay, this is actually extremely good because Dummy Thick loses accuracy from its ability, Hustle. So giving it the wide lens means that now um, we have a, a way to compensate for that. All right, let's see what's in this room. Uh, I got some Trubbish. Eats rubbish instead of taking tips. All right. Yeah. A lot of people hate Trubbish. I think I've talked about this before. I don't mind it. I don't mind. Can't stand Vanillish and its evolutions, but... Trubbish and Garbodor are alright. It's like, we already have a Toxic Waste Pokémon. Why is a Trash Bag Pokémon that far off? Like, if we're being, if we're being honest with ourselves. 
Uh, is there such a thing as a snowman Pokemon? Uh, my memory's failing me. Um, oh, that just leads out of town, and I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, and now time for everyone's favorite part of every episode where I go to a new town, the shopping montage. Scratch that, I didn't like anything in this shop. All right, let's just make our way over to the gym. I've seen everything there is to see around here. Uh, you have anything interesting to say? Darumaka is able to store more strength the colder it gets. I'm jealous. Um, oh. One more item to pick up. 2x special attacks. Alrighty then. Uh, let me just make sure my party is looking good. Um, I think I want Thought Patrol out front for this since fighting is good against ice. We're gonna save up. And since that route was on the longer side, this is probably enough for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Shield, I take on the Churchester Gym. See ya!